Hey, home girl! welcome to the Girl Just Heal podcast, where together we learn how to navigate our healing journeys in a way that challenges us to destroy limits and break down walls that have been keeping us subject to our trauma. I am your host, your favorite home girl, Nimoya Bazin. And just like you, I am on this healing journey, navigating the ups and downs of this thing called life while simultaneously allowing God to usher me right into the place where he wants me to be. So get comfy, grab your journal, and let's talk about all the ways we can heal, grow, and evolve together. Hey, home girls! Welcome to the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm Nimoya Basin and Chad Listen. So, how are you doing? How are you healing? How are you feeling? Drop me a comment in the comment section. Y'all know it is time to check in. It is time to let me know how y'all are feeling. How has your week been going? What are your wins? What are your losses? How are you navigating your healing journey? How are you navigating life? All of those good things, y'all know it is time to check in with your favorite homegirl. I'm doing pretty good. God is still good. God is still worthy of the praise. God has still been showing up for me in ways that I didn't even think I needed him to show up for me. So that's always good just to know that God still has his hand on you, even when you don't feel like it, even when it don't seem like he still has his hand on you. Just knowing like it's one of them things that if you know, you know, you know that God still has his hand on you because the situation could have been differently. You could have been dead and gone. You could have been uh, homeless. You could have been just in a different situation than you are in, but God spurred your life and God continues to just keep his hand of protection around me. So I am very grateful for that. Um, Sometimes we feel like God has to do such miraculous miracles for us to just be grateful. But baby, I woke up today. I am breathing. I'm grateful. I knew who I was. I'm grateful. I put on my clothes without assistance today. I'm grateful. I was able to tie my own shoes. I'm grateful. I didn't use the restroom on myself. I'm grateful. Like situations could have been so much worse, but I just thank God for life, health, and strength. And most of all, I just thank God for today. I thank God for another day to just do what it is he has called me to do and to just breathe, just breathe new life and continue to go on with my day. So let me know how y'all are doing. I hope that y'all are doing very, very well. We are going to go ahead and get into this episode and y'all, I can't even lie. What we're going to talk about in this episode is just really like, it is sitting on me so heavy and I'm just like, oh, I just want to get to it so fast. But we're going to go ahead and, oh, first we got to do homegirl updates or homegirl announcements. So we're going to get into that. Um, the first homegirl announcement, y'all already know, shopgirljustheal.com, baby. Get your prayer cards, get your homegirl merch, and another item that has been added on the website if you haven't seen. And if you're on YouTube, come on over, get the visuals real quick. I can show it to you. So this is the Girl Just Heal Conference Journal from last year. So we were supposed to have Girl Just Heal Conference 2023. A lot of things fell through. We wasn't able to have it. And so I had been working on some stuff in the background, like getting everything I needed for the conference. And these journals came in. Now, I use this journal personally, and it has been such a wonderful tool for me to help my thoughts escape. So this is on the website. Unfortunately, there are only a limited number of these available. Like, listen, it's only... It's very minimal. I don't even know how many left, but I know when I first put them on the website, it was only like 29. So it's only a couple of these um, because they are from last year. But I was just like, I don't want these to go to waste. Um, I've given a lot of them away, but I said, I don't want these to go to waste. I think the homegirls will be able to use these. So get your Girl Just Heal Conference Journal 2023. The journal for this year, baby, just wait. Okay, y'all got to come to the conference to see it, but um, make sure you shop this. This is a new item that has been added on the website. Also, y'all already know Girl Just Heal Conference is coming up really, really soon. Y'all still securing y'all tickets. 
I love it. And I can't wait to meet y'all in the room. If you do not have your ticket to Girl Just Heal Conference, go ahead and get your ticket. You still have time to get your ticket. Just go to girljustheal.com, click on the conference tab, and then it'll take you to the registration and to find out all the information that you need to know about Girl Just Heal Conference. Okay. So now um, that's it for the homegirl updates. Now we are going to shout out a homegirl by reading a homegirl review. And this review comes from Key to the Honor. Okay, period. <laughs> and she did leave a five-star rating. So thank you, homegirl. She says, I love this show so much. This show reminded me that I need to affirm myself and speak life over my situation. I am the child of a king, so I need to think that way. Come on, Key to the Honor. She says, thank you for your obedience. The mantra is needed, and I just love it here. Thank you so much, homegirl, for this wonderful review. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for just being here and being a part of the family. I really do appreciate it. I love when we get new homegirls to discover us, when the podcast is blessing y'all, like all of the things y'all know. I love all of that. So thank you so much for that homegirl key to the honor. Okay, period. So now y'all know what time it is, baby. It is time for the most favorite part of the episode. Y'all know what time it is. It is time for the prayer cards. Prayer cards. It is time for the prayer cards. Prayer cards. Eight. Hey. Eight prayer cards, prayer cards. Eight, 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 eight. It is time for the prayer cards, y'all. It's time to get our word in. Y'all know, y'all know what we do. It is time to get our word in with these prayer cards. We are getting down to the nitty gritty of these prayer cards too, y'all. Our very first pack of Girl Just Heal prayer cards. I love it so much. It is just such a wonderful tool. Like, and I'm not just even saying that these prayer cards are such a wonderful tool um, to use. So if you don't have a pack of Girl Just Heal prayer cards in your collection, baby, run to the website now so you can go ahead and secure your pack. This is the first edition of Girl Just Heal Prayer Cards, and once they gone, they gone, so go ahead and get yours, okay? All right, so our scripture today comes from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13, and it says, Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quit you like men, be strong. So y'all know a while back how I was telling y'all that sometimes King James Version is like Chinese. Baby, that's what's happening with this prayer card, but that's okay because we about to go to another version. And again, that was 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. We're going to try the Amplified Version and the Amplified Version says it like this. Be on guard, stand firm in your faith in God, respecting his precepts and keeping your doctrine sound. Act like mature men and be courageous, be strong, my goodness. And they give you Psalms chapter 31, verse 24 as a reference scripture. So y'all know when we get them reference scriptures, I'm going to tell y'all about it. So let me read this again. It says, be on guard. Okay, baby, watch. All right. Stay alert. Be on guard. Stand firm in your faith. Act like mature men and be courageous. Be strong. My goodness. Yes. Come on. Let's go to verse 14. It says, let everything you do be done in love, motivated and inspired by God's love for us. Mm, come on. I love this so much. I love this scripture. I had to go to another version to really get it. But that's why I love the Bible app. I'm going to just plug this in here again. Before I do that, our scripture today came from 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13. I want you to bookmark that. Um, Go and read that for yourself. For me, I'm going to have to go and read a couple of passages before and after just to get a, a deeper understanding of it. But make sure you bookmark this scripture. Um, but like I was saying, sometimes the King James Version, it gives it to you raw and regular. Like it'd be like a, a whole nother language that you don't understand. And whenever I get a scripture that's in King James Version that I don't understand, I always go to another version of the Bible that puts it in terms where I can understand it a lot more. And this was a, a live example of this happening today with this prayer um, card. So 
Just make sure y'all remember that if you don't have the YouVersion Bible app, please download the YouVersion Bible app. This video ain't sponsored in any way by YouVersion, baby, but it's just the app that I use. It is so easy to use. I love the YouVersion Bible app. They have Bible plans on there. They got so many different versions of the Bible from Amplified to New Living Translation. You could do the Message Version, Christian Standard Bible Version, um, just so many, New King James Version, so many different versions of the King James Bible. Okay. Cause we know that's the Holy Bible, but it's so many different versions of the Bible on that app just to help you understand a scripture you might not understand. So go download the version Bible app. You may need it with your prayer cards home girl. So make sure you download it. Okay. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and slide into this episode. Now for today's episode, let me just tell y'all Something happened. I saw a comment and it really, really disturbed me. And by me seeing that comment, I'm like, Lord, I know there have to be so many people out here that encounter this and not only on the encountering end of it, but so many people who say things like this to people who are in their healing journey. Now, y'all know I'm passionate about healing. All things healing that's me. Okay. We're going to heal. We're going to grow. We're going to evolve together. And one of the things that really disturbed me is when I see people be so insensitive to other people's situations. And so I don't even remember, and I should have wrote it down or maybe I shouldn't have, but it was on one reel that I had put up on TikTok and I saw a comment and I think in this reel, I must've been talking about I don't even know. Like it was just me giving advice from one of the previous episodes that I did. And I saw somebody comment and say, basically was just saying to any woman who would look at that video, you know, she was just giving advice. And I use air quotes because that wasn't the right advice when you're dealing with damaged people who are healing. And she said, just move on, just leave, just don't do it. And when I tell you this comment disturbed me because so often we always tell people what they just need to do and we just need to hush. You cannot when you are dealing with people who are healing or you are dealing with somebody who are going through uh, maybe they're going through just a, a tough situation. One of the things you never want to do is tell them something matter of factly. And when I say that, I mean, you don't want to come to them and tell them this is what you need to do. This is what's about to work for you. That's the end. I don't want to hear nothing else. It's done. It's over. You don't want to do that. You really want to be fragile with people and you want to be graceful with people who are going through their healing process. Because if we are being honest, none of us can tell somebody what to do in a situation. You can tell, well, let me take that back. You can tell them all day, but you don't know how you would act until you are in that situation. And I put it like that because so often we'll see people going through a toxic relationship and what we'll tell a girl, I don't know how you stayed that long. If that was me, baby, he would have been gone. I wouldn't have stayed with him. You don't know. You probably would have been worse off than she is if you were in that situation, but you don't know. And because you are on the outside looking in, it's so much easier for you to tell her that you would have left and you wouldn't have put up with that. I wouldn't let him talk to me like that. I wouldn't let him do me like that. I wouldn't let her say this to me. I wouldn't, uh, -uh she couldn't be my friend talking to me like that, baby. I would have dropped her. She couldn't be my friend. And a lot of times we are just not considerate of the things that we say. And so you can give people advice. And I, I use me, for example, because with the Girl Just Heal podcast, that's what I do. I give advice based on my life experiences and based on just the knowledge that God has blessed me with. I give homegirls advice on how to heal, but we are healing together. And I never... I never come off as telling a homegirl what she needs to do and telling her this is going to work. And if you do this, then your life is going to shape up. Your life going to be good. Everything going to be peaches and cream because I can't do that and be 100% honest with a homegirl. So when I see comments like that, it kind of disturbs me because a lot of people don't understand that you telling somebody to just leave 
You telling somebody to just shut up and and heal? You telling somebody to just be quiet and and go, girl, you ain't the only one that done been through something like that, baby. My grandmother and her sisters done been through that. That was them. That was a total different era. That was what they dealt with. I don't know how they got through it. I don't know what they had to, to help them through it. But this is me. This is my situation. And because we are different, just because your grandmama and them got through it like this, don't mean I'm going to get through it like this. And so... I just want us to be cautious. I want us to just remain in a state of just treating people fragile. Like when people are in a healing process, and when I say that, I don't mean just like baby people and things like that. That's not what I mean. But I mean, just think a little more before you say something, before you put something out in the atmosphere, because a lot of times that is the number one thing that people don't need to hear, because I'm sure... Everybody in their life have been telling them to just leave that man, to just walk out of that friendship, to just walk away from that situation. They have been hearing that over the course of however long they've been in that situation. So by you offering that little bit of talk to them, by you saying that statement to them, it's not making them move any faster. It's not making them say, well, you know what? She right. She told me to just leave. I do need to just leave. And a lot of the times people know, deep down inside, people know that they need to get up out of certain situations. People know that they don't deserve what they are going through, but it's not always easy for them to exit. And so instead of you telling them to just leave, maybe go to them and give them some kind of literature, give them some kind of devotional, give them some kind of pray with them. Hello, look, pray with them. And if you don't know how to pray with them, just give them some kind of advice. Just be strong, stay encouraged. You know, I, I know, I know that right now the situation is hard, but it won't always be like this. Encourage them instead of going to them and telling them something matter of fact, well, you need to just leave. And I know that it's, it's almost like a, a two-sided coin to that because some people will listen to this and they'll be like, well, on the standpoint of tough love, sometimes you do need to tell them that I'm not on that standpoint in this case because I know how fragile people are when it comes to healing. And so I just feel like your tone and how you approach somebody who is healing, like it, it doesn't always take tough love to approach that person. And so you have to really just weigh a situation and look at a situation for what it is and just know what you are saying before you say it. Some people are not strong enough for you to come up to them and tell them just leave. They're not strong enough for you to do that. And so if they're not strong enough, you have to find another avenue that works well with them. One thing ain't going to work for everybody. Tough love may have worked for your sister. That don't mean it's going to work for your cousin. Tough love may have worked for your best friend. That don't mean it's going to work for your niece. So you have to really know people and really give them advice based on how they are handling a situation and how they deal with a situation. And so that's why I would just encourage you to be cautious. You know, be cautious. Um, I see a lot, not even just with Girl Just Heal, but if I am looking just on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok, um, I do see a lot of that happening. And my prayer is that we would just start being more graceful and more conscious of the things that we are saying and how we are saying certain things and understand that people go through situations totally different. They deal with situations differently than other people. And that's okay, but we need to learn how to speak and how to talk to certain people um, because everybody is going to require certain things. And so that's really all I have for this episode. Um, I pray that this episode blessed you. If you know somebody who will benefit from this episode, by all means, go ahead and send them um, this episode. Make sure y'all are still sharing the podcast with your favorite homegirl. Um, if you haven't joined the Girl Just Hill Facebook community, baby, I don't know what you are waiting on. Go ahead and join that community. Just look up Girl Just Hill on Facebook. It's going to pop right up. So we are going to close out. Y'all know how we're going to do it. We're going to close out with the Girl Just Heal mantra. So we're going to take a deep breath in and out. And that is just releasing all the cares from today, yesterday, this week, 
this month, just releasing everything that's been weighing down on us. And we are going to close out with the Girl Just Heal mantra. So the Girl Just Heal mantra is, I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. I accept myself for who I am. I free myself from all fear. And today I choose to heal. So thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast. I'm your favorite homegirl, Nimoya Basin. And until we speak again, girl, just heal. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Girl Just Heal podcast. Be sure to connect with us on social media at Girl Just Heal. And if you need an extra dose of support during your healing journey, Join our private Facebook community where we can continue to heal, grow, and evolve together.